Welcome back to Connection Kids' three-part series, Fear Not. Last week, we learned through the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego that we don't ever have to be afraid because God is always with us. God's enemy, the devil, wants to trap us in fear so that we won't be able to do the amazing things that God has planned for our lives. Fear is one of the enemy's biggest weapons. That's why the Bible tells us over a hundred times, fear not or do not be afraid. This week, we're going to learn that Jesus loves us and cares about us. When you love someone, you protect them and you care for them. So we can be sure that God will always care for us. Jesus taught us that God is our heavenly father because he wants you to know that he loves you and he cares about you. God is strong and loving and protective and nurturing, and he's going to do anything possible to keep you safe. Have you ever heard a storm coming? You might see rain or hear thunder or even see lightning, and that can be really scary. But did you ever notice that you were less scared because you had someone with you? It's the same thing in life. When we go through scary things in life, we need to always remember that God is with us. Our verse for today can be found in John 16, that says, In this world there will be trouble, but take courage. I have overcome the world. Jesus is telling us that in this life there will be troubles and things that are scary, but Jesus has already overcome death. There is nothing too big for our God. Let's watch this Bible story and see the lesson that Jesus teaches his disciples. It's time for a Bible story. A long time ago in the land of Israel, Jesus and his disciples spent the day doing what they loved to do most. Let me guess, making sandwiches. Nope, teaching. Jesus was talking to people and preaching the gospel all day long. When evening came, Jesus told his disciples to jump on a boat and cross the Sea of Galilee. All right, just a little evening cruise action, huh? Nice and peaceful trip across the lake. Nice, sounds pretty nice. Well, it started out that way, but shortly after they pushed off and started to travel across, something happened that wasn't so great. They were attacked by a giant sea monster. Ah! Run, swim for your lives. Uh, no, that's not what happened at all. First, the wind started to blow. Then the waves started to pick up and the rain began to pour, and pretty soon, their boat was in the middle of a huge storm. Ah, yikes. Well, it's okay. At least they're in like a huge, big old cruise ship, right? No big deal. Not quite. They didn't have boats like that back then. They were actually in a little wooden ship, like this. Whoa, that is not so big. That thing was out in the middle of the sea in a storm? Yeah, man. That sounds terrifying. I bet Jesus and the disciples were so scared. They were probably totally freaking out. Well, the disciples were pretty scared, but Jesus, not so much. In fact, Jesus was asleep during the whole storm. Seriously? How in the world could someone sleep at a time like this? Look, the boat's rocking all over the place, water splashing everywhere, the wind and waves are going crazy. They're just on a little tiny boat, man. Game over, man, game over. Okay, okay, calm down. That is true, but Jesus wasn't afraid. He knew that his father God is a good father and that he would do anything to keep them safe because he loves them. Okay, so like what happened next? Well, the storm kept getting worse and worse and the disciples really started to freak out. They ran to Jesus and woke him up frantically worried about how he could be sleeping during the storm. Well, yeah, I mean, he is sleeping during a storm. Jesus got up and the disciples all watched with wide eyes to see what he would do as he calmly walked to the front of the boat. He raised his hands to the clouds and he commanded the storm to be still. Immediately, the wind stopped and the water was completely calm. Dude, that is awesome. He like totally canceled the whole storm. Just like that? That's amazing. I bet the disciples like couldn't believe their eyes. Actually, you're right. They were totally surprised that Jesus did that. But he asked them why they were surprised. Wait, hold on, what do you mean? He was surprised that they were surprised? I mean, there's a lot of surprise happening here. Well, yeah, Jesus knew that his father loved his children and that he is powerful enough to do anything for them. This is why Jesus wasn't afraid of anything while he was here on earth. He knew that his father loved him and would take care of him. Oh, gotcha. So that's why he wasn't afraid of the storm or like surprised that God came through for him? Exactly. He was able to teach the disciples a very important lesson. That two plus two is four. No, 
That yellow and blue make green. Uh, that's true, but no. That it's impossible to lick your own elbow. Wow, gross. Stop doing that. And no, it's much more important than that. Jesus was trying to get them to simply trust in God, their Father, who loved them and would take care of them. When we know how much our Father loves us, fear flies out the window. Ah, good point. That's a lot more important than math or colors or licking stuff. So after that, I bet they wouldn't have to be afraid of anything else that came their way, huh? Yeah, technically that would make sense. Like a giant sea monster attack! What? No, get that thing out of here. There aren't any sea monsters out there. Debatable, but I'm just saying if there were, we wouldn't have to be afraid of them, right? Okay, you got me there. Aha, a conundrum! Yeah, yeah, the end. Have you ever wondered why scary things happen? There's a lot of things in this world that we might be afraid of, whether it's getting lost or maybe just not fitting in. We all feel afraid at some time. In our verse today, Jesus said, we're all going to face trouble in one way or another. This is because we live in a broken world. So why do scary things happen? It's not because Jesus makes them happen. It's because of sin. It's because people make choices that can hurt other people. Whether it's other people's sin, our own sin, or the sin of this broken world that we live in, we're all going to face scary storms from time to time. So what do we do about it? Well, if we're going to face our fears, there's something that we need to know about sheep and about Jesus. If you know anything about sheep, they're not really that strong, and they're not really that smart, and they scare really easily. There are so many dangers in this world for a sheep. There's cliffs they could fall off of, and lakes they could fall into, and animals that are bigger than them that want to eat them. So why isn't a sheep consistently scared? I think it's because they know that they have a shepherd who loves them, and protects them and is always with them. So if you see a scared sheep, it's probably because they forgot their shepherd was with them. In John 10, 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. So the Bible tells us that Jesus is like a good shepherd and that we are like his sheep. Now, what's something that sheep might be afraid of? Well, maybe bigger animals like bears or wolves or lions. But some people believe they're like a sheep without any shepherd to protect them. They think that they have to face their fears alone and that Jesus won't be there to protect them. Remember that a good shepherd takes care of all the sheep. He loves the sheep and is willing to do anything he can to keep them safe. Jesus won't run away when trouble comes. So when a bear or a wolf or a lion comes against a sheep, the shepherd fights them off with his staff. This is the kind of shepherd that Jesus is. He is with us and he protects us. Jesus says that he has overcome the world. He will fight off anything that comes to attack us if we let him. Jesus wants you to know that he loves you and cares about you. You remember our story from earlier about the disciples? They were so afraid of that storm, they were probably running around that boat like scared little sheep. But just like sheep forget they have a shepherd, I think the disciples forgot that Jesus was on board with them. So why do you think we get scared today? Could it be that we might forget God is with us? Jesus protected the disciples back then and he protects us today. The greatest story of God's love for us is that he sent Jesus to die on a cross for our sins. Our biggest danger isn't lakes or cliffs or bears or lions. Our greatest danger is sin. But Jesus died on the cross for our sins so that we would know God is always with us. Kids, whatever you're facing, big or small, God wants to hear about it and to help you through it. So talk to Jesus. Prayer is that simple, and he is always listening. 
If you need some help talking to God or you have questions, Renee and I are always here for you. Please get a hold of us if there's anything we can do to help you kick fear to the curb in your life. And remember, we don't have to be afraid because God loves us and will take care of us if we let him. We want to thank you for watching week two of our online series, Fear Not. We will be delivering activity packs to our church family, but if you would like us to email you some material, please let us know at kids at connectcorona.com.